What's good, Team Exclusive, and welcome back to another episode of The Draft to Glory. Now, first things first, apologies about this episode being massively delayed from the last one. Um, I just didn't really have a whole lot of time um, to do this, and obviously with Footmas going on, well, Foot Freeze really, the kind of dead Footmas, um, yeah, this kind of just took a uh, took a back seat. But um, I've been trying to work on a few new rules as well for the draft because if you don't know how the series works, basically we are playing the draft in hopes of making profit from our 15k. But uh, most likely we we won't. Um, basically, it's just a bit of fun. We every draft is going to be a themed draft we do on this channel, um, and I want it to be different. Every every draft is going to be different from the last one. Uh, and basically, what I want to do is every time we land on a certain rule. Um, let me just jump over to our wheel first thing. Um, every time we land on a certain theme or rule, um, I'm going to take it off the wheel and we're not going to have it again uh, until I forget that we've done it. And then later down the line, we're going to put it back on probably. But um, yeah, as you can see behind me, we have quite a few new interesting rules. And I've got, I can't remember exactly what all of them are. So I've got them all written down. We've got um, Samba Draft with Neymar. Um, basically, that just means we have to take every five-star skiller we have. We've got the Infinity Draft, which rolls uh, rolls around, which I don't know if it's entirely possible. Basically, means we have to accumulate what is it? Uh, orange, red, blue, green, purple, and yellow cards. Obviously, we can be a bit be a bit lenient with those kind of colours, but we have to try and get those um, those six colours in the draft. We've got subs and reserve, which means basically we have to build a team out of just the subs and reserves. Should be difficult. And starting eleven is the opposite. We have to build a team just out of the starting 11. No subs and reserves can be used to help build our team. Rainbow Draft, which is, as you know, every player has to be a different card type. Um, we've got January Birthday, which I'll change when we jump into February, which is uh, basically just taking everybody uh, that we can from January or who's born in January. Um, which one is the other one? We've got starting 11, Rainbow Draft, Respin, I think that's it. Oh, we got the MOAD. So M-O-A-D, which is the mother of all drafts. Now, this one is going to be interesting because it means we have to take the highest rate of play in every position, but they can't link. So we have to make sure everybody is on bare minimum chemistry or, or lowest chemistry. So no one can have any links. No one can link at all, uh, but they have to be the highest rate. So it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword kind of thing. Uh, should be quite interesting. But anyway, there's all the expla explanation done. I do apologise about that being slightly long, but I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, the other one, obviously, is special cards only as well, which is, just means we take any kind of special cards. It was a bit stupid just limiting it to the Europa League or Champions League, whatever. Anyway, let's give it a spin. See what we get. Can we get one of the brand new interesting drafts? We did have out of position last time. I do need to take that one off. So that's my bad. I forgot to move that one. Apologies. Uh, it's quite hard to remember which one we've uh, already done. Joker draft. What is a Joker draft? Joker draft. I believe that's where I can kind of do my own thing. Is that boring? Joker draft. I'll see what we get, and if, if it's pretty dead, I'm going to go to Joker Draft, but I feel like that's a bit boring. It's a little bit boring. I may, might need to take that off. Oh, okay. There we go. So that's a little bit more interesting. We get starting 11 only. So now if we jump back to uh, the game, um, we have to build a draft. And obviously, we do have our free draft from EA. Thanks, EA, for the free single draft token. Very much appreciate it. We have to build a draft out of just the starting 11. Now, we haven't got very good formations, in my humble opinion. Um, let's go with a 4 3 2 1. Why not? Let's go out there. So, starting 11 only. Hmm, that's not great. Um, I'm going to take Lozano actually for that. Hopes. Oh, no, we wait. That's not a great shout. I was saying, in, in the hopes of we get Cristiano Ronaldo. Which we don't. We don't do any of that. Uh, we get Werner or we get Zaha. Now I think it's probably smart to take Werner. Just he's slightly better in the shooting department. Mohamed Salah. It's a very good start to be fair. It's a very, very good start. And then we get Trezeguet as well. What I'm also going to do quickly now is I'm going to take the uh, subs and reserve just to see what we get. 
because we can't use them. So I'm going to take the highest rated possible to kind of help our high rated draft. And Marvi, it's quite a nice one to be fair. Good headliners. Um, ironically, a Marvi doesn't come out as a walkout, which I find really strange. I'm pretty sure because they do like the um, like the Champions League blue cards. Hey, um, Tomini, that's quite a nice card. Uh, hey, oh, that's class. Marco Royce. Um, yeah, all the, like, the informs, UCLs, 84 and above, they come out as walkouts, but a Marvi doesn't. It's really odd. It's really odd, but it is what it is. So, oh, <laughs> I almost picked Ronaldo then. I almost forgot what we were doing. Um, okay, so I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take Di Maria because all of those other ones could be quite useful in our draft. That was uh, that was almost a big, big mistake. Jaden Sancho. It's very, very nice. There's, he, they want me to take. Oh, they want me to take Ronaldo. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We're going to take Aspi. It might have been a mistake actually. It might have been a mistake. Um, we're going to take Marcello. Shame he's been. He's just fallen off over the years obviously understandably as he's got older but yeah okay right well, that's good at least it's not a third Ronaldo I may have spoke too soon Willian get Bamba uh, I'm gonna take Bamba just because I think Rem is quite a useful thing to have okay oh no wait that was a oh no it wouldn't matter anyway I've just realized what I've done I've just realized what I've done I can't pick Ronaldo anyway so why was I uh why was I avoiding him? I, I am actually an idiot. Doesn't matter. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We can't we can't use him because he's on the subs and reserves. But we get Paul Pogba. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try and redeem this draft a little bit. Try and redeem this draft. Um, we get Pjanic. I'm going to take Kovacic. Just as he links, I guess. He's not the greatest player in the world. Christensen. Oh, this could be really... Bad. I've just realised what this draft is. Oh fuck. Okay, right. So I'm actually going to keep keep starting eleven on there because it's a it's a tricky one, and it'll be an interesting one to do again because, um, yeah, like I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so we're actually getting quite a few nice uh, nice picks. Yeah, the interesting thing is that we can't obviously sub any players on, or we can't change the draft around. So this is our this is our draft, and if we don't get the players we need, then we don't get the players we need. But as drafts go, it's a bit more chemistry. He's four and six, or he's six and four. Doesn't really matter either way. Only if you'd get more chemistry. No, six and four. Just who I'd prefer up up top, to be honest. I think I'd rather that way around. Just trying to see if I've missed any. Chemistry, anyway. No, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's an interesting one because I, I genuinely, when I was building that, I forgot what I was doing. So I should have taken Ronaldo on the bench. Uh, that was a big mistake, but it doesn't really matter. So we can't use him. It will just be there for uh, boosting the rating. So that's the team. Might as well just jump into the game, see uh, see how things go. We get uh, Big Boy Peanut Company. Um, D Smith, would he actually help? 88. Company 84. Nope, we'll take the Premier League because we have got a Premier League team, obviously. Um, but there we are. So, there is our draft 173. Not brilliant, it was always going to be quite difficult to get chemistry unless we got Premier League players. Did we get Bale in the first one? I feel like we did, didn't we? But then he would have gone. Oh, that was probably a mistake. I don't know. I feel like I've messed this up quite a bit uh, in certain positions, but it is what it is, you know. That's how it, that's how it falls sometimes. That's how it falls. Let's just hope we don't get knocked out in the first round. Uh, I'm not going to do that one. Just as he had a guest. Um, do want to have the best chance possible of winning the first round. So, you know, it is what it is. This guy's team. It's got a very nice team. We didn't see any icons as well. Interesting. Neither in the subs or reserves. So, I feel like we've been gypped a little bit. But he's got a Rivaldo... Uh, Zanetti, it's got that Varane as well with uh, an informed Joe Gomez. It's not what you want to see. It's not what you want. What was that blue light?
Come on, Salah's in. First time. Oh, it's full to the rebound for Trezeguet. Let's go. Come on, do the celebration. Let's go. What are you saying? It's a bit lucky, to be fair. It's a bit lucky. But you take what you can get. It's been difficult breaking this guy down. I don't know how much of the gameplay you've seen so far. That might be the first thing. Um... But he's got that, he's got that Varane, he's got that Joe Gomez. It's just, it's just difficult, man. You know, getting past that defence is just, it's just tough. But we are defending quite well, especially with Ake. He's a bit of a beast. Shit. Well, it was going to happen eventually. It was going to happen eventually. I just couldn't, uh, couldn't do much about it. I'll take that, I'll take that. Horn is fine with me. Come on, somebody get your head on that. Big head. Wow. Oh, Trezegui, you're right there, man. Great job. Bad job. Great job, Ake. Let's go. Ref's a stinker, I swear. But, uh, tough half, to be fair. Tough half. I, I really don't know which way it's going to go at this point. I, I can feel like, you know, look how even it is. Same sort of possession, same... Um, shots the same, shots and targets basically the same, same goals obviously it's, um, I feel like we can lose this but also I feel like we can win this at the same time so it's really one of those ah oh, fuck I may have dived in there a little bit with the good save jeez, I gotta stop doing that man, gotta stop doing that it's what, what I can see most of my goals for doing just by diving in by pressing B with my defender Great tackle by Kovacic. Let's go. Bad pass by Kovacic, but we'll take it. Lozano is away. He's got 98 pace, so I don't know who you think you've got to catch him. Sane! You're a stinker, Sane. Absolute stinker. De Gea. Great save by De Gea. Let's go! The hair's a beast. Come on, Pogba. Wake up. Fucking doing what he does for Manchester United. Just standing there aimlessly waiting for the ball. Not actually doing anything. I love how they've managed to do that perfectly. Just recreate his uh, his play style. Fuck. Well. Shit. Oh, oh, my God. How was that not a foul? Wow, okay. I thought he just wiped him out in the box. Head's gone. It's gone. I'm sorry about that. There's Rivaldo, number 11, right there. He has not got that much hair. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe that at all. Come on, Salah. We've got the pace. Who is that? Mendy. Oh my god, I've just run out of play. Jeez, man. Jeez. Oh, you can't give him a red because of the whole rule. Okay, this ref's broken. I'm fairly sure there's a rule that says you can't give a pen and a red. That, that is not Rivaldo. I'm sorry. Rivaldo does not have that much hair. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, it's irking me beyond belief. I knew it was going to go that way as well. But I want... Take a look at this picture. He has not got any hair. I'm sorry. This game's a jip. Well, there we go. That was extremely fun. Um, there's not much I could do, really, to be fair. He was just, he was just good. That guy was just really good at the draft. Um... It was unlucky, to be fair. Really unlucky. I, I feel like we played some really good football, but like his team was just phenomenal. When he, he defended really well, I just couldn't break it down at all. Um, so I can't really make any excuses. I'm not, you know, the game didn't didn't stiff me. Even though, besides Rivaldo having way too much hair, um, I think it was I think it was pretty fair to be honest. Like I said, uh, at half time, you know, it really could go either way. Could either have won it or lost it, and unfortunately, we lost it. We just just couldn't didn't couldn't score the goals to be fair just couldn't score the goals that's all it was really that's all it was and it was just so difficult stopping Mane and and Son especially later in the game having like Christensen Ake and um Laporte they just weren't quick enough really they just really weren't quick enough so unfortunately today is a uh first round exit um just kind of sucks really doesn't it just kind of sucks just kind of sucks, but I will be doing more of this. I want to kind of get back into it, get used to more of the, the draft gameplay. Um, wow, really? Who's our loan, though? Holstenberg. 
don't care. Um, ironically, actually, these are quite good, to be fair, because, like, players, non-rares are worth, like, 700 coins, that kind of stuff, so, um, even though it's probably a bad idea selling them straight away now, you get a few, a few free, free coins for them. Let's check how much he's worth. So, it seems like he's worth about 800 coins, so he actually might sell for that. Non-rares are really good to, um, to have. I should probably have kept that Holstenberg. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, you never know. We could get something quite nice. If we got headliners, that would uh, obviously make our day. It's not going to happen. It's very, very unlikely uh, with these, but you never know. I'm just going to store everything for now, because like I said, non-rares do sell for a little bit. Um, so there's actually potential we could make like 10,000 coins or something out of this. Depending on what we get, obviously. Some nice chemistry styles would be quite cool. Would be quite nice, but... Kashelny? See, like, Kashelny's up there in, like, the 1,200,000 coin mark, so that's quite nice. March, 800, not bad, but, like, there's just not many on the market, to be fair. Why is he, like, 2,000 coins? I don't know. That's weird. He's like 2,000 coins. No idea why. But we also get Hunter, so I'm, I'm going to stick him up for 2k. Stick him up for 1,100. That'd be fine. Let's see if he sells. And I haven't got enough space. But we also get a Hunter as well, which is quite nice. So I mean, if everything's sold, that's like 5k out of this pack. And then we get a 3,000 coin... Um, chemistry style, which is also very, very nice. So that's about six or so. So actually not done too bad, to be fair. Not done too bad. I'll sell the rest uh, at a later date. Not too important for now. Um, but yeah, unfortunately that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes sometimes we uh, don't do as well, and sometimes we do. It's just, yeah, it's just the way it is sometimes. So regardless, um, you know, I do apologise about first round exit but hopefully you enjoy the whole draft building part i actually really enjoy it and i really do want to do more of this so definitely over january you'll be seeing a lot more of um the draft of glory and hopefully it won't all be first round exit but uh exits but we'll uh, we'll see what happens either way hopefully you have enjoyed if you have please do drop it a like that'd be very very much appreciated um if you want to see more of this content please do hit that subscribe button become part of the ever expanding exclusive family so uh, and of course i'd very very much appreciate that um but with that said i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time